Well, it's back to school week across Northeast Ohio, and today is likely to be an emotional first day of class for high school students in Copley. That's because their school lost two students earlier this month in a deadly shooting spree. I'm sure you remember that. News Channel 5's Bob Jones is live outside Copley High School with this story. Hey there, Bob. Well, Justin, it is a very difficult day for many of the students here at Copley High School, but the superintendent did talk with us a short time ago, and he said there are many ways the district is helping the kids cope with the tragic events that unfolded a few weeks ago in Copley Township. Of course, the kids returned to school this morning with heavy hearts, dealing with the loss of two of their classmates. The principal talked about the tragedy during school assemblies and reminded the student body that counselors and psychologists are on hand to lend an ear and help the kids through the grieving process. There will also be a moment of silence in all of the Copley Fairlawn school buildings today. Two 16-year-old friends and Copley High students, Autumn Johnson and Amelia Shambaugh, were shot and killed during Michael Hans's rampage that left eight people dead, including Hans. The superintendent says the district has received tremendous support from this tight-knit community, and he talked today about the importance of today's moment of silence. Just out of respect for the families and, and out of respect for the victims, I think it's very important that um, our students just pay a moment of silence and, and tribute uh, to those that were lost in this tragedy. And Superintendent Brian Poe also told us that the district is working with the families of Autumn Johnson and Amelia Shambaugh to put together some sort of tribute here at the high school. Those details are still being worked out, and we don't have any of the information on that tribute quite yet. But more information is expected to come out as the students continue to grieve and deal with this whole situation that really shook this community. Justin.